yeah, I am struggling. You know, I, my husband and I are struggling, especially, especially my husband, especially my husband. If you guys knew him, man, if you guys knew him before and, and see him now, you'd be like, man, that's rough. And, you know, I think, I feel like for both of us, something that just really stinks. I understand people aren't good with death. I'm not good with death. Like, what do you say to the person that's, you know, suffered a loss like that? Well, there really isn't anything that you can say that'll take the pain away or make it the situation any better. That's just a fact. Um, I know I was that person that was just like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to say. And so I would just not say and just kind of disappear. Um, but I have learned from my own experience with loss that that's not comforting <laughs> to the person. Um, and so I, I don't do that anymore. I, I just show up. I just show up. I, it's, I'm not saying anything because, you know, you can't say anything. There's no words that fix the situation or comfort. Comfort, I, you know, what's most comforting? It's just acknowledging what the person is going through, acknowledging their pain and, and giving them like commendation, you know, for still moving forward, for, for trying to, you know, put everything together and, or whatever it is that they've done to help others, like bring it out, point out the good that they do and have done that that's comforting. You know, scriptures are comforting too. Of course, always that's God's word all day. Um, but yeah, show up. <laughs> that's, that's my advice, you know, and, and in times like this, you do know who really cares about you you know, who your real friends are, you know, you learn, um, because your real friends aren't going to be worried about how they sound or how they look, or, you know, if they say something stupid, they're not thinking about themselves, they're thinking about you. And so they show up, whatever they can do, they're there, you know, and I love that. And so we do have a few really good friends that have been trying hard to like, just hold us down. And I'm grateful for those few, very grateful. And yeah, but that's something that I'm like, man, yeah, I get that. Not knowing, you know, death makes everyone, I mean, most people kind of weird, you know, they're just like, what do I do? I mean, I know the, the that feeling, but I learned just in experiencing my own lot, like with my mom, when my mom passed away and I was like, it doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> I just, this whole time I was worried about, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And that was so stupid because it doesn't matter what you say. Don't say anything. Just show up, be there. Matter of fact, something I've gotten very comfortable with saying is I have nothing to say. There are no words, but I'm here. And, you know, I just hug them and cry with them. You know, that's what, that's what friends do. Man, I just went off on another tangent. Oh my gosh. Come on, Kim. I was going to show you my budget. I was going to show you what I was doing. So, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs>